Hi guys, it's me Red and today I am here with a hairstyle video with Violet Victoria Rose, my beautiful doll. Um, I'll be doing three hairstyles that you should totally do on yourself or your doll this Christmas. Um, Christmas is only a few days away and I feel nothing, it's really strange. So I thought I should just do a Christmas video today. And um, Violet Victoria, she has kind of long hair, I don't know, because her hair's kind of curly at the ends. So I don't know if you'd count it as curly or medium length hair, but um, these hairstyles should work on medium length hair as well. I wouldn't recommend them on short hair, but um, let's get into what you'll need. So really, just generally speaking, you'll need a few hair elastics. That's not focusing on the right parts. You'll need some hair elastics. You'll need a comb. Hairbrush, sorry, I always get confused. And um, maybe a bobby pin or two, depending. And um, if you want a styling churn, obviously you're going to need a doll. So let's get into the first hairstyle. So this hairstyle, first of all, is quite <laughs> I'm smooth. This hairstyle is quite simple, but it's really, really effective. So I'm wearing my red sweater today, so don't judge. Um, you're going to want to, as if you're doing a Dutch braid, you're going to want French or Dutch braid, you're going to want to grab the first section of doll's hair, as if you're going to do one of those like ponytail there, Ariana Grande or someone. You're going to want to just comb that front section that you've chose. And then you're going to want to start braiding it. So now I've done this with the braid, I've tied the end on. Let's just put the camera back down a little. We're going to take our doll's hair and we're just going to flick the ponytail in front of her head for a minute. She's probably looking like a unicorn from the other point of view. And we're going on to, you can either have a low or a high ponytail or a medium, kind of middle one. That's the kind of length I want, so I'm kind of putting it in the centre of the back of the head. Then we're going to flick the ponytail down, holding the braid in. Hopefully you can see what I'm trying to get at. You're going to want to put the ponytail, the ponytail and the braid together. Getting your hair tie, I'm just showing you. So, so you probably can't see, so it's like kind of all meshed in together. And you're going to want to connect In. And then you're going to want to take out the end of this braid, so not take it out, but kind of like take the, I'm not the best explaining things, but so the braid runs into the hair like this, because you've put out the end of the braid, and pull it, turn your doll around and it, you've got a beautiful braid running into the hair. The next hairstyle. So, for this hairstyle, you might want your doll face into it. I'm just going to roll it myself. Well, it's really cool, so I'm not going to do that. Take all your doll's hair and put it on one side. This is kind of like an Elsa braid, if you get my dress. And you want to braid it. And put, what's different about this hairstyle is grab a front section of doll's hair. You want to chuck that around, and you're going to use that later. Taking your doll's hair, split it into three sections. By the Victoria's got really weird layers in her hair, so that's why one side's a bit shorter than the other. And then you're going to want to just start braiding. Taking this section of the hair, I'm going to comb it down. And then what I'm going to do, so I'm going to bring it across and I'm going to twizzle it. So just twirl it. I like to call it twizzle. I don't know why. Twizzle it not too tight so it starts standing up on itself. But we're going to bring it across and then we're going to tuck it under the hair like this. I'm going to wrap it around. 
This tightens up the braid and it just works so well. Taking a bobby pin or maybe even a clear, clear hair elastic and tightening it, you're going to insert it in the back. Try and hide it behind the hair so it all meshes in. Okay then, for the final hairstyle, we're doing the low back ponytail with a bit of pizzazz. So, I've combed the hair, or I've brushed the hair already. I'm going to take my hair elastic and I'm just going to put it in a low ponytail. Don't worry, that's not the end of the tutorial. She will through that. And as you can see, her hair has gave it a little bit of a bump, so it looks very lovely that way. So what you're going to do now is take a section of the hair and wrap it around the head. Taking a bobby pin, you're going to want to hold that in place. Trying to hide it so it looks like that. Then the next thing you're going to want to do is after you've done that, you don't want to just push that down all. And you see, if you split it into a really small section, just split it into a section like that, then you wrap it around, pretend there's a hair sign here. Just wrap it around itself and then you open like that. Do you see what I'm trying to do here? And kind of just wrap it but not braid it. Oh that was the hair tie. Oops, it's all gone. <laughs> so we're gonna wrap it. And then we're going to hold it in place with a hair tie. And then we're going to get a small section of hair. And then we're just going to wrap it. Like so. And then we're going to get a bobby pin and hold it in place.